I believe it is time to take on the home world of the first AI, although I don't want to take out the first AI itself. One, three, four. Naturally. And unload so we can get everything repaired that we need to. Now the Dark Zenith, what worlds would they take? I don't know. They have like a 1 in 3 chance to go closer to us. So I think at least for the moment we can get away with going Massive and taking this fleet somewhere else. Fire type. Okay. Yeah, going after the Thanatos right now is basically impossible. But I want this fleet to go through here and go to this world and obliterate it. Turrets? Maybe, maybe not. I kind of think of this as I want to be done with it and we have sufficient forces to be done with it. Because the AI homeworld may have about a thousand strength, but so do we. We are repairing all our things. We also have a lot of help and we can rebuild, whereas the AI can do none of these things, at least not at the very moment. The AI is targeting a critical piece of our infrastructure. Our defenses are 500 strength and the AI is attacking with less than 100, but our defenses are more than 560 actually. Getting faster repairs would be nice, but engineering is quite a bit off. Now how far are you done? Yeah, we still have a respectable amount of science points left to harvest. A human resistance cell has engaged the AI. You're getting a Morgrim. Now, how much here is still in need of getting repaired? Not that much. With our fleet number two, we are at over 1130 strength, it seems. A more than sizable amount, more than ah, more than decently sized amount to take on the AI homeworlds, including all the dragons that they have. It would even be more than enough to take on whatever is here, assuming we take on the bench generator soon enough. So I think even if we decide to continue this and wage war on the Dark Zenith, we have a chance. Now, yeah, it seems everything is ready. Absolutely. Let us form up Already starting. and start attacking the first AI homeworld. Come on, gather up. I want everybody going through here at once, if possible. And it's time to focus these things. First and foremost. All hands. They are going down very quickly because we have a lot of anti-big. So I don't expect us to lose this fight. There's the brutal amalgam. But it's not as strong as the dragons here. couple of planeters and all. There's some more group, okay. Speed number five is in here. Yeah, and it bailed out. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I should not have put that fleet in here. That's it. One dragon down. Second dragon about to go down. Our phantoms are doing great work. Next dragon, please. Although this one is going to go down sooner. Then this, then this. The amalgam is fleeing, it seems. Well, maybe it's not fleeing, but going to another world at the very least. There is just a couple of drones here. This fleet is also completely and utterly crushing this planet. Oh, there's an adaptive matrix fortress here. How about we have our nuclear destroyers take it?
I should be able to handle this easily. Now the air homeworld has successfully been broken, I wager. Now all the ships are coming out of their guard posts. However, even if they want to attack us, they would have to go through this choke world, and this choke world ain't going down so easily. Oh, we can build this stuff. What? Ah, this is probably what they were talking about. Sphere-infused bastion. Fascinating. A structure built to mimic spheres we have been seen throughout the galaxy. It is filled with humanity's weapons inside, uh, inside of its secure outer shell and imbued with excess dark fire energy that our scientists have converted to allow it to fire at dark at sphere collectors. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put up the harmonic turrets of all our battle stations because they should be boosting each other here. 180 damage per. These are, yeah, these are added to our battle stations. That's how we, uh, that's what they were mentioning and everything. Now all of this is getting wrecked. Yes, this is looking good. Our AIP is spiking and we have hit Mark 3. This world is about crushed. The adaptive matrix fortress is all that remains. And we will take it out. Absolutely will. It can't heal fast enough against all of us. At least not fast enough based on how many shots it gets and all. So this has all been dealt with. And the civilians will deal with anything and everything that tries to get through here, like for example the Amalgam Gamma head. Why are they not completely killing it? They're probably already retreating. But yeah, this thing can't do anything in its state. Okay. We already triggered the Overlord. Okay. Well, I guess then everything is happening faster than I wanted to. I didn't know that we were automatically attacking it. Right away, sir. Well, it's slow. 250 speed. And it's going to Arco first, which means it is going to path Taiki and all. This here has been obliterated. No, they don't have the range to attack all of this. Just take it out. The Shrikes should be completing our work here. Let's take a look at Chisty Command Station for the extra scouting and all. We have way more than enough energy for all our needs. And since we can't do anything on Bastion Worlds anyway, just path for here, please. Now there's a decent amount of AI strength, but they can't be dealing with us. Also, CPAs are coming. I guess their work is done here. Allied resistance ships leaving. All right. But we have proven that our firepower is far more than just sufficient to deal with AI homeworlds, I believe. We have fleeted up so much that the AI is not able to stand against us. Well, at the very least, not at our current AIP, which has gone up considerably through the first homeworld assault and all. Okay, this should have all unloaded. Now we just need for the need to wait for the AI Overlord. We can't attack it here, at least not yet. Okay. They have not been doing anything much. Oh no, they have successfully conquered this planet and they are probably about to go towards Targa. They may or may not to. There's a lot of weaker planets around. Yeah, 
The AI Overlord will not be standing a chance. Also, all of these ships won't be standing a chance either. What can we do in, so in terms of tech? Nothing yet. We have successfully taken this planet. And the Transport 7. These are ships that are probably more generalist. This is probably more for some people for our snipers, but our sniper New fleet is full. So I'm going to just throw them into the tortoid. There's going to be a lot of scrap left for me to clean up. That's where we can clean them up. Okay, first AI Overlord is about to be destroyed. Also, our science is rising rapidly now. Science teams just finished up. Yeah, there weren't any more real centerpieces out there that I could see that would have been worth taking and everything. Detecting exogalactic warp signatures. Trajectory is our home planet. Yeah, they, yeah, I may be going for our home planet, but I don't see them succeeding. I really don't. Now, this fight is easy peasy lemon squeezy. There goes the first AI. I suppose let's read these journals that have been piling up again. Huh? Haven't we already read that? Commander, we are detecting some major new energy searches from Dark Spire Legends Generators. It looks like the Coalition's ability... Oh, it's going on. It looks like the Coalition's ability to actively destroy their structures has awoken even more of their ire. It looks like the energy generators are now generating small amounts of energy even when things aren't dying nearby. Also, it looks like they are going to try to build new Venus generators more often. Thankfully, since these new generators are being warped in so quickly, they lack the invulnerability of other Venus generators. So the war escalates, that's everything. The Dark Zenith Economy. Commander, our scientists have done an analysis of the Dark Zenith Economy. They use a variety of resources to build their units. To create these resources, they use a series of termini. Each resource is associated with one type of terminus. The base of the economy is a string of octiron termini that harvest the metal. To create more advanced resources, they use transports to move resources around. They have three lower tier resources, thormite, chelonium and alkahest, which are created by manipulating octiron. Then two advanced resources, isomite and skrif, I assume it's uh, named, which are made from the other resources. They can, they can then use these resources to build mobile forces and construct the units with their epistles. With enough resources, these epistles can construct a wide variety of new structures and defenses as well as a, as a very wide variety of powerful ships. The Dark Zenith ships range from small fleet ships to some truly terrifying golems like the Emir. Uh, as its base forms weren't as if its base forms weren't terrifying enough, they will sometimes infuse their ships with extra resources. This exotic infusion allows their ships to have additional abilities beyond the norm. Each type of resource infusion imparts different attributes. Thormite, stout ships, these are, ships are more durable. Chelonium, fortified ships, these ships have an additional have an additional defensive system. Alkahest, spirited ships, these ships are cloaked and faster. Isomite, enraged, these ships have an additional weapon to take on single strong adversaries. And Skrif, sinister, these ships have an additional weapon for crowd control. And lastly, AI Sentinels defeated. AI Sentinels has been defeated. Well done. It has lost its coordination with the other AI factions and is now rogue which means it will no longer send waves against us and it won't be doing anything against us anymore. We can gobble up its planets at the cost of ARP towards the second AI.